In today's environment, we deal with a lot of different file formats. Each of these file formats that we deal with, we usually have a viewer, and most likely a free viewer, that allows us to uh, view and interrogate the, the model. But the challenge that we have with it is that uh, these viewers require to be updated, you have to install them and so forth. It becomes very hard to manage all these different type of viewers. And with the A360 viewer, it gives you a better solution for this. One is that it supports uh, pretty much uh, all the file types that you would need. Uh, so the file types that it supports are listed here. And the second reason is because it is uh, browser based. Uh, so that doesn't mean that you, or it means that you don't have to install any other application. It runs 100% within the browser. So you can use this on your desktop, you can use this on your mobile device, your phone, uh, as well as your pad. And if you do have an iPad, uh, there is a A360 viewer app that it gives you a little bit better experience. Uh, but the, the web browser is actually not too bad. So I'm going to go through this video of showing you how you can get a model like this. Um, and this is just not a model. This is a, a rich uh, model. Um, so what I mean by that is that if I actually select a part, uh, there's properties here. I've shown this before in my other videos and blog posts. Uh, but it gives you all the information, such as its product hierarchy, its name, stock, uh, drawings, um, CGs, and weight, and so forth. It also has uh, all the features that you would acquire from a viewer, such as the, the orbiting, the panning, the zooming, um, and it even has uh, the sectioning. And the performance will depend on uh, your machine as well as uh, your internet access. So to start off, uh, you have to go to uh, a360.autodesk.com viewer. So again, this is a free viewer. Uh, when you get to this page, you might have a sign in uh, credentials here. And if you do have an Autodesk uh, credentials, I would say to log in. And the reason is it gives you uh, an email notification when the file is done uploading, as well as it gives you an extra feature of sharing the model if you need to share it uh, with someone else. Again, this is all free. There's nothing that has to be paid. Uh, and again, this is all within the browser. So the examples I'm going to show you here is I have three different file types that are support. Uh, well, three types that are supported here, as well as uh, the many others that uh, are supported, but I'm not uh, doing it through this demo. So I have a, a Navisarx model. Simply what you have to do is click and drag into this uh, location. It's going to upload the file. Uh, as it's doing that, I'm going to do uh, the other ones. I'm just going to do a DWG. And then I am going to also do a step file, which is uh, common for uh, transfer between organizations and so forth. So once it's done uploading, it's just going to prepare my file for viewing. Uh, the time really depends on the size of the file and um, the format that it's in. But it can take anywhere from 15 seconds to about 5 minutes. While I was preparing for this one, we'll look at the other ones. So this was uh, the DWG that I uploaded. So it gives me a 2D view, but the more interesting one is the 3D view. So as you can see, it's uh, going to load um, the project, but it gives me a pretty full version of the project that I can interrogate and, and can look at. And if I look at the step version, same thing. So, and then if I go to the more interesting one, which is my model. So again, it totally depends on uh, the size of the model for how long it takes, but once it's loaded, it doesn't take too long to refresh. Um, the performance here is a little bit worse uh, as I'm recording. 
So another interesting thing that you can do with this uh, A360 is sharing uh, the result. So sometimes you want to load in here and you have to give the, the model to someone to share just very quickly. And if I'm going to do this uh, sharing it through uh, a link, but I'm going to also open it through my iPad just to show you uh, the experience that you can get through there. So there's a, a get link here. So if you go and get the link, it gives you a URL. Uh, so it's only lasts for 30 days and only you only get it if you're actually logged in. So if you uh, copy the link and send an email. And then I'm just going to switch to my iPad here. So what you can see is uh, I got the email. So if I open it up here, so there's two options that I have. I can continue with just uh, opening it in the browser and I can view it through uh, the internet browser, uh, but also have the A360 viewer, which again, just gives you a little bit better experience. So I'm going to open it through uh, the viewer instead. So it's done loading here. So as you can see, it's uh, a little bit better uh, performance than just in the browser. And this is running uh, on my iPad Air. And then you also get a, a, all the properties or features that you would expect, uh, uh, such as the information to get all the properties, again, from all the product hierarchies and um, plate nesting, everything that comes from a ship constructor. Also, another feature you have here, which I've shown before, um, say so if you select on a part and you have uh, the isolate, uh, so kind of see where that part is, and it kind of shades everything else, uh, just so you can kind of see the location of where it's, uh, the part is. So I hope this um, video was useful, and yeah, thank you very much.